Welcome to Let Me Talk My Talk. I'm your host, Robert Shaw. On today's show, we talk about what I would do if I had the first overall pick in the NBA draft. Is the NCAA going to start losing top-rated high school seniors to the G League? And lastly, what two NBA teams benefited most from COVID-19's NBA season postponement? Find out next on Let Me Talk My Talk. The coronavirus has definitely changed the sporting calendar, but something I'm still looking forward to is the NBA draft. And if I had the number one pick this year, I would take LaMelo Ball. He's 6'7", which is great height for a point guard. The kid has a handle, like a straight up yo-yo. His jump shot's improving, but most importantly, he has great court vision. And lastly, he has the it factor. The thing that draws teammates, fans, and media to him. So that's who I'd grab with the number one pick this year. Who would you get if your team had the number one pick overall? Let me know on Twitter at Shaw's Law Podcast. Allow me to paint you a picture. You're one of the top rated recruits in your high school class. You can go to any college in the country. Or if you want to make a little bit of money, you can go overseas. Those have traditionally been your two choices. But now, Jalen Green has changed the game. He's agreed to be a part of the NBA G League's Pathway program. He'll make $500,000 and have the right to sign endorsements. And he'll do it right here on American soil. What makes Green special is he's 6'6", he's an explosive athlete, and he has a stellar first step. But more importantly than that, If Green can keep his draft stock high while in the NBA G League's Pathway program, he'll turn the G League into a viable option for American kids who don't want to go overseas but would still like to be paid in the year between the NBA and high school. So my question to you, the viewer at home, is if you were in Green's situation, would you have taken the more traditional NCAA route, opted for a year overseas, Or would you have been willing to give the NBA G League a chance? Let me know at Shaw's Law Podcast on Twitter. My mother always said to make the best out of every situation, to try and find a silver lining. And for one NBA team, I think I found that silver lining, even with the postponement of the NBA season due to COVID-19. That team is the Philadelphia 76ers. At the time of postponement, they were the sixth seed in the East. That's not a great seed for a team that had championship aspirations heading into the season. Many pundits picked the Sixers to represent the East in the NBA Finals this season. But to make matters worse, they were going to be without all-star guard slash forward Ben Simmons. He had a back injury that would cause him the re- to miss the rest of the regular season as well as the early rounds of the playoffs. But that's not an issue anymore. Because of the time off from postponement, Simmons' back is healed, and if the playoffs were to start today, him, his extraordinary playmaking, passing, and defense would be on the court. But they're not the only team that is going to benefit from COVID-19. Stay tuned and find out what other NBA team may get a couple players back just in time for playoffs because of postponement. I already told you about the Philadelphia 76ers getting Ben Simmons back and how that could impact the Eastern Conference playoffs. But what if I told you there was another Eastern Conference team that could benefit even more than the Philadelphia 76ers? That's right, 7 seed Brooklyn Nets. Last offseason, they signed Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving in hopes to form a championship nucleus. But Kevin Durant had a ruptured Achilles and wasn't expected to play at all this season, while Kyrie Irving was going to miss four to six weeks and and effectively end his season as well. But thanks to COVID-19, both of them would be ready to play if the NBA playoffs started now. And the further out we push it, the more healthy they'll be. So watch out for the Nets and the Sixers. 
if given the choice, who do you think has a better chance to win the NBA championship healthy? The Nets or the Sixers? Let me know at Shaw's Law Podcast on Twitter. And thank you for watching. Let me talk my talk. I'm your host, Robert Shaw. Have a good night.